so hello guys uh, today we are going to do a installation of a particular product and uh, before that i will also show you the unboxing of it so you know what comes in the box and let's get started so here is the product this is called the racing stripes and it is from 3m so let's so what do we have here we have a masking tape and then we have the sticker itself the knife this manual of how it needs to be done so now let's try to do the installation of this so we can see how it looks in my car properly cleaning your car should always be your first important step for a good result all kinds of dirt sand deposits or previous vinyl sticker glue marks should be completely removed before you start your vinyl application and always make sure that you do this with a car wash shampoo and a clean microfiber cloth once the cleaning is done let it dry for some time so there won't be any liquid or substance while sticking your vinyl to your car place your vinyl on top of the bonnet and measure the sides from the center and once you are done with that grab your masking tape and stick it across to hold your vinyl in place and once your vinyl is at place remove the liner carefully and cut a portion of it to stick the film to the car surface use the squeegee provider to avoid any air bubbles during this process and once you are done remove the liner further and repeat the process till it reaches the end of the bonnet and please note that we will only be using the squeegee throughout our process for leveling the bubbles because using the heat gun at home is not practical for me now grab your pen knife and make a cut always remember to leave out some extra vinyl so you could fold it inside your bonnet and make it look professional now it's time to remove the top liner and have a look at our wrap for any air bubbles or cuts to be made that's it now let's wrap the front bumper for this let's first start with the logo cut and to do this you need to be patient and precise to not make any wrong cuts and waste the vinyl so use the pen knife properly as the usual i'm going to leave out some extra vinyl at the top which will be hidden under the bonnet and some at the bottom which i will level it afterwards to give the professional look for a full bumper installation like this always remove your number plate before getting started i can be seen sticking the masking tape vertically at both the sides this is to level the job all way to the ground and take measurements accordingly to make sure that it's even once we are done with that it's time to stick the vinyl at place and ensure that there are no air bubbles to it this part is the time consuming and trickiest among all because the places we deal in here are quite smaller than the others and the cut needs to be precise to avoid any errors so let me not bore you and also for the sake of time let me just do a speed wrap for you all right So now let's fix the number plate back and let it sit for some time. Wrap on the rear spoiler should be the easiest install in this entire process and the most satisfying too. This is more similar to our bonnet wrap in terms of fixation. All you need to do is just measure the sides and do the cuts equally. In fact, this step is common across all parts of this installation and also a generic step you need to keep in mind no matter if it's a center, right or left aligned wrap installation which you are trying to do. You always need to make sure that the vinyl alignment is proper and not misaligned of any sort. What you see is the top side of the rear spoiler and there is another side which faces the rear. Unfortunately, I don't have the clip which shows me fixing that side of the rear spoiler, but worry not, it's equally simple as this. Now let's jump to boot and the rear bumper wrap where we can learn to make overlapping cuts. Overlapping cuts in a car are typically made to apply the vinyl over the areas where there is a body line like your boot, bonnet and side doors. You can see me sticking the first half of the boot vinyl here. This is to get the alignment right for the rear bumper wrap 
Like we did for the front, we need to remove the number plates in the rear as well to do the full bumper wrap. Ok, now that we are done with the rear bumper wrap, let's do the cuts and refix the number plate back. While you are doing the cuts, make sure you don't apply a lot of force so your paint doesn't get scratched by mistake. And always be extra cautious while you are using the pen knife. Now let's finish the rest of the boot by applying the vinyl over the leftover area and slightly overlap it with the existing. And that's it. Now let's get back to the studio. Thanks for watching and if you like this content, please like, share, comment and then subscribe. I'll post more videos in the upcoming days. I hope you enjoy it. Bye bye.